Yeah, opening music. How the pros do it. What's up, guys? Yogi Zilla here. And I'm doing my Sunday vlog thing. My video log. Um, and it's today's February 2nd, Sunday 14th. Super Bowl Sunday. Supposedly. And I, I, I don't even care. None of my teams are in there. We'll, we'll get back into that. But um, one of the things I first wanted to to share... Um, while well, I deal with technical issues, I don't know what's going on with OBS lately. I've been doing too much streaming because I've been working on the podcast and producing other podcasts and networking and all that stuff. Marketing stuffs. I know stuff is already plural, but I, I don't know. I like the word stuffs. Very uber, very geeky. But I do want to thank everybody. On Twitch for helping me reach 3k views, which is kind of a big deal to me since I'm still uh, one of their lesser known broadcasters. I'm at uh, 40 subscribers, which is a, a humble, a modest number, and I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm, I'm humbled by that. I want to get to 100, but I'd be happy if I just get hit 50. And like I said, I still want to do some giveaways if you guys have been paying attention at all. I do have a ton of games to give away. Um, and I guess I might have to redo the the giveaways, uh, do something more formal to really create some buzz. Um, maybe I'll just do a raffle copter type thing, um, because I'm trying to drive more subscribers for me on my Twitch, see my YouTube, and also on Ob One X Two, and for all things related to horseplay. You know, we have the Steam community group. We have. Um, um, our Stitcher coming soon, and those are the main things. And, and we'll probably come to iTunes too because we know we know people. Some people are stuck with Apple products. It's okay. We don't judge you. <laughs> I've I've been spending quite a bit of time in between work, in between projects, and dealing with the usual madness of having a large family. Watching Hunter, X Hunter. I want to I want to become a pro hunter. <laughs> That's how much the show has got. I mean, uh, I, I, it's no such thing as a pro hunter in real life. I mean, there's bounty hunters, but nothing like what the show show portrays. It's a really cool show. It's I, you know, Naruto is one of my favorite of favorites of all time. Not the favorite, at least of the mainstream stuff. But definitely overall, I think it might be my, my number one. But at Hunter X Hunter is definitely going going up there somewhere. Attack on Titan is cool too, but I don't know. I like, I like the whole superpower type thing. It's like Dragon Ball Z, come, you know, redone with a diff different kind of style, you know. But anyway, so see, yeah, super about, about Super Bowl Sunday. I don't care because none of my teams are there, and I, I've learned something about Super Bowl Sunday. It becomes less relevant when you settle down. Especially if you're not into not into sports to begin with, and when you don't have local friends, most of my friends have moved away or they've settled down and they got their own things going on. So it's like the whole like portrayal of having a guys get together, you know, guys night, you know, with snacks and beer and all that stuff, watching the big game it doesn't really happen. I'm gonna tell you what Super Bowl Sunday really is about for the average person. It's about marketing, and it's about companies that have not figured out how to use the internet properly and social and leverage social media, um, and focus on smaller niche groups. You know, more targeted marketing. It's about them using mass mass marketing. You know, that's what they do. Super Bowl Sunday is about ads. That's really what it's about. It's not about football. But uh, why did my music stop? I thought I had a playlist going. By the way, music provided by Technoax, royalty free. Take that, YouTube. There we go. Um, good stuff. Good stuff here. If you ever want to use some music for a podcast or a video, yeah, background music, music loops, intro music, outro music, all that stuff. Check it out. Um, so yeah, that's enough about Super Bowl Sunday. But uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing some, producing some podcasts. There's a lot of podcast concepts that I've thought about for a long time. And a lot of 
needs that I don't see being addressed. Like I like, I'd like to do a podcast in Spanglish, not Spanish or English, Spanglish. Mix it up a little bit, a little bit of English, a little bit of Spanish. I think there's an audience there, and it'll be a geeky type thing. So we talk about technology, video games, usual stuff. That's what I'm into. Um, you know, digital entertainment as a whole. Maybe movies and shows, but see, I avoid movies and shows because you tend to get into them and then they let you down. Anime is like the exception for me. That's about as much as I do as far as multimedia entertainment and music. Music's always awesome. I love music. Music's never let down. And you can enjoy it while doing other things. That's good. So I'm going to do some ca- some open castings. Um... With regards to horseplay, that's going to be our, definitely our flagship podcast, which is why I've branded this vlog with the horseplay logo, and I'm going to be doing that with a lot more of my broadcasts. Um, still doing the NOF thing, Nipples of Fate, so I'm d- definitely still gathering, you know, like-minded geeks in my little clan. Uh, it's not little, but, you know, we're kind of just more of a social club than anything else. We do some competition here and there, but it's mainly just about hanging out. And we'll probably be doing... A podcast of our own uh, to promote via n-o-f.com, the clan site, and maybe j- invade some other games together, stream that stuff, you know, and, and do a lot of stuff there. But yeah, um, what I want to, my vision for a podcast network is kind of what All Games has done, but without assholes running it. Like Derek H is cool, but he's kind of a jerk, and he's been, you know. He looked at Horseplay, because a bunch of people are, that already have shows on all games. And they said, hey, get Horseplay on there. It's a great show. And Derek H. was, oh, sure, show me, your, give me your links. I gave you everything I had, and he, and he never got back to me. So, like, whatever. Uh, but at the same time, he's always saying, oh, we need writers. I want to get these kind of shows on. Um, I need a social media person. I've been trying to help him with all that. But he, I can see why people don't volunteer because he's a hard person to work for. And I got shows that I have planned that I want to produce or host, a little bit of both, and that can fill the void, not just an all games uh, network, but just overall. Like, I don't see a lot of um, podcasts that appeal to what I would like to see. Like, I'm, you know, Fred Rojas over at uh, Game History 101 was talking about doing a grumpy old men kind of thing. And uh, I think it's awesome. Grumpy old geeks, you know, that could be a thing. And uh, it's a great concept because, you know, I notice the older we get, the more jaded we become. Like, I see things that normally I would I would, I would I would ignore, like bad parking or people talking on their phone, or texting on their phone while they're driving, uh, people dropping trash on the ground, um, people letting their kids cry and throw a fit in a public place. All those things really get to me now. It's like the part parent, parental in- instinct, and just being kind of jaded, a jaded geek. I'm not quite that cynical though. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just like, what the, what is the world coming to? And I swear, younger generations are getting dumber. I'm sorry, but it's also I blame some lazy parents and some bad, some bad edu- educators, some bad teachers, bad, lack of good role models. Not every, all the time, but a good amount of that. And I see all the time, and I just SMH, SMH. Ah. <sighs> Well, let me not get into a rant. Okay, this isn't going to be a full rant. I don't want to make this all about rants. Past week, I haven't played that many video games, but I played quite a bit of Guardian Heroes. Still a great game. I always hope that Guardian Heroes 2 will come out. I mean, that would be fantastic. I'm going to update my stream. I'm going to put that in there. Guardian Heroes 2. Because I'm, I'm on Twitch right now. I'm going to put this up on YouTube and Twitch. I'm recording while I'm streaming. Probably not the best practice, but you can't trust Twitch for their YouTube export. Uh, it's just, it just doesn't always work properly. So I'd rather not have my video trapped on Twitch. <laughs> At least YouTube lets you download your videos after they go up. Uh, but on the flip side, YouTube, you know, Google, what they're doing with the automatic banning of people, suspending accounts, or having you know copyrighted material. <laughs> Don't like it. So yeah, 3K guys, 3K. I'm happy about the 300, 3,000 views on my Twitch channel, Yogizilla. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Yogizilla. If you're not watching this on Twitch, 
Um, but yeah, big plan, big plans. Um, really excited about the stuff that's coming on Horseplay. We've had we've had two amazing guests. We have more lined up. Um, and my strategy is to help others, help themselves, and help others, so we can just cross promote and coll and really collaborate, create that real synergy. Um, all games has it for the most part, but there are some like one off people that just do their own thing. Um, and ostracize certain people and play favorites, and it's very obvious when you play favorites. Everybody has favorites, but when you when you make it very obvious when you play favorites, it's not good. But I still hope to support all games. I, some of my favorite shows are on there. B team are probably my my most favorites. My favorite, it's whatever show podcast. Um, great guys over there, but I want to do a network this um more about helping people get started with podcasting content and just content marketing as a whole. So yeah, we're going to do some podcasting, casting, podcast, casting, podcast, casting. That, that, that could be a tongue twister. That's going to be interesting. And this should be happening at geeky antics.wordpress.com. It's a very minimalist website. Eventually that'll be a domain and there'll be real a real website there, but I, I just want to start grassroots and build up organically. So the first step is finding people that I could trust that are passionate that, you know, maybe have some experience, but haven't really had the help to really do what they want to do or have the interest to do it and the willingness to learn. So if you're either one of those, Hey, let me know. Tweet me at Yogizilla. Uh, hit me up on steam. Yogizilla. I'm Yogizilla everywhere. I'm easy to find. Leave some comments on YouTube. Um, get to do that on Twitch. That's a little unfortunate, but you know, spread the word. Um, definitely want to see, who, you know, I have all these concepts for, for podcast ideas and I want to see who'd like to fill the slots. And then what we'll do is, uh, set you up with some hosting or, show, or point you in the right direction. And then, um, the, the website that I have temporarily set up is going to be a pseudo network more about syndication and collaboration so we cross promote so if you want to use your own network on your own website no problem but we'll still cross promote each other and um build up our individual and collective brands like that that's the model i'm looking at there's a lot of that out there but the big ones don't take newcomers and even like some of the smaller ones they're you know like vogue uh voice of geeks um hall games wicked you know, they're not as easy to get on, or they or they already are super saturated. So, you know, it's gonna be like a little niche within the niche kind of thing. Um, and that's pretty much it. I think it covers everything. So, hey, happy Super Bowl Sunday! Uh, don't forget to tune in to Horseplay Thursdays, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, over at Obi One X Two, or my channel Yogizilla on Twitch. For the live show, the live show. We usually finish around 1.32, depends how long, how long we go. Um, we try to aim for one, but it usually is much longer than that. Um, on my channel, I usually just do the audio simulcast, but the full HD recordings and live uh, broadcasts are over at OB1X2. All right. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I feel like I'm mi missing something. Let me check my notes here. The Guardian Heroes. I did mention that. The, I just I found that actually. There was supposed to be a part two. Um, and that ended up becoming the remix, HD remix we saw on the Xbox 360. Because um, Sega had told Treasure, hey, well, you know, that sounds great, but let's re revive the IP before you make a sequel. And I guess. Since the revival didn't work out that well, um, they haven't made a sequel. That was back in 2011 when uh, Guardian Heroes HD Remix came out. Um, I mean, you gotta remember, this is a Sega Saturn game. You're talking about, you know, mid 90s, kind of uh, that era. Fourth generation, fifth generation of gaming. I don't know, I've lost track. Um, but I think there's still a need for that. You know, it's a, it's a brawler, hack and slash type game, but. There's some finesse to it. It's got the RPG elements, the four-player co-op, the wicked combo system, like a fighting game. Oh, that's a super satisfying game. And, well, multi-branching storyline. Well, I can't. 
not much of a storyline, but still, your decisions have much more of an impact than they do on Mass Effect. I mean, pff, come on, Mass Effect 3, all the decisions you made, and it's like, you're very little impact. It was cool. Loved, loved the series. One of my favorite series of all time. <sighs> but what a fizzling, fizzling away. Just kind of just poof. It wasn't a boom. It was a poof. For that ending in Mass Effect 3. Yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's in the past, I know. But I'm still kind of recovering from that. All right. I'm rambling on. I did want to share that. Um, and again, if you want, if you're interested in podcasting, uh, team me up with my clan, maybe joining the clan. Uh, we're a different kind of clan. Joining our uh, content network, just collaborating in any way. There's different ways we can work together. You know, it could be an exclusive thing, it could be a cross promotion thing, syndication. You know, there's a lot of different ways to team up. But one thing I, I recommend, and I always urge people forget about the whole competition thing or uh, how unique you are, you know. Or you, you, you know, in marketing terms, your unique advantage. Just think about, you know, how you can attract other people that are like you and help them out. Because as you help other people out and you empower other people and, and entertain and inform other people, a beautiful thing happens. You help yourself out in the process. And it's a model that works time and again. It just takes time to do it. But it's a lot more sustainable than just being cutthroat or trying to do everything on your own. And see, that's my issue. I try to do everything on my own. Um, I've done everything on, on the Horseplay podcast from show notes to um, following up with guests and potential guests. Uh, editing the podcast uh, when I upload them to our host. Um, cleaning up the audio. Doing artwork. I keep busy. Obi, Obi helps. He does a lot, too. But, you know, I, I'm just, that's the kind of person I am. I like to take a lot on and because I like a lot of different things. I, I love the entire creative process. But anyway, let me get out of here. I'm about to beat up my dog because she's being a real brat. She was a bad girl. She peed in the house. She, she's got, she, my dog, my American Bulldog, she's about four or five years old now. She, there's no reason for that. But she's, she's kind of acting up because we got two little puppies and she feels like they're getting more attention. So right now, through the corner of my eye, I see her moping on the floor and giving me sad eyes. It's so pitiful. <laughs> I'm not even going to look her way. That's the thing about dogs. Let me tell you. They're just like kids. The more you ignore them, the more they want your attention. That, of course, that changes once they, you know, for kids, it changes once they turn to teenagers. Then it becomes about, oh, my friends are more important than everything else. And then they realize, oh, my friends suck. And they're not even gonna remember. They're not even gonna remember me. Uh, you know, once, once I go into the real world. Not most of the time. I, I know. I, I sound bitter, don't I? But it's true. I'm breaking down the knowledge. I'm being realistic here. But you know, it's just you know, when you're a teenager, you think everybody you meet is like you know, your biffy, your best friend, and you know, you think those relationships in high school are gonna last forever. They don't. So if you if you behave. In a very sophomoric, you know, or just just act, if you act like a high schooler, you are a high schooler. Just keep in mind the popularity contest. It ain't cool. It's more about showing people what you're really made of, where your loyalties really are, building trust, and doing things of real value, real accomplishments. That's the silly stuff people do. Like, oh look, I got selfies. Ah, no. Like real accomplishments, you know, be a person of substance. Ah, see, I'm getting into old man parenting talk, but you know, that's what I, I you know, I, I'm, I'm young at heart, but at the same time, you know, I've always had a kind of an old spirit in a way. Like I feel like I've been on the earth much longer than I have. And um, again, having a large family, uh, having those constant challenges all the time, dealing with all the different kids, you know, and. Uh, my grandson, you know, it gets crazy. <sighs> Deep breath. But I love him. I love him. I'm going to get lots of great hairs in the process, but lots and lots of great hairs, but, you know, wouldn't change a thing. So that's my vlog today. I covered a lot of different things like I usually do. I feel like I'm forgetting something big. But again, let's connect. Um, Yogi Zilla on Twitter, Raptor. Xbox Live, which I don't know if I'm going to keep Xbox Live going for much longer. At least I'm, I might take a little break from Xbox Live because I've just been big on the PC thing. A Steam, the message Steam. Uh, Tumblr. You can sell it everywhere. Just Google me. Um, 
and I think my Google Plus is just Yomar Lopez or slash Yomar dot Lopez or something like that. Um, but I'm easy to find. And let's connect. Make sure you join this the Horseplay Steam community group. We'll be setting up uh, community play dates to play different games together, um, giveaways, letting you in on some of the upcoming um, show topics, getting everybody involved in what what kind of content we put together. What kind of promotions we do and events. Um, just talking about whatever, you know, we'll get some discussions going in the forums too. But, you know, we just need more people to step up. We got a good amount of people there. We got about 50 members of there so far, so not bad. But I guess people have other things they do in their daily workflow and they don't visit Steam communities that much. But it's, I like what they have there. They have a nice little framework. By the way, I'm out of here. This is Yogizilla, and I'm out. I'm leaving for real now.